Hello Electroheads, Ailish here. A few weeks ago, we asked you what you'd like us to cover here on the channel and you came back with some great ideas. So today, we are gonna be taking a look at the who, what, whys and whens of battery life and answer that big looming question. Will you one day have to replace your EV's battery pack and how much is it gonna cost? But first, if you love to keep up to date with all the latest EV goss, then go on and hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already so that you can keep up to date with all of what's going on here at Electroheads. There was once a time when widespread EV adoption was just a faraway dream, science fiction, something that would happen in the distant future when we were all walking around in shiny gray suits, taking holidays on Mars and eating entire meals in pill form. But although the pill dinners, personal jetpacks and Martian holiday resorts are still just a dream, plenty of us are driving EVs on the regular and have been for years now. Back when electric cars had first hit the mass market, the naysayers quickly had their greatest hits of doom worked out. Firstly, there was the cost of buying an EV, which the doomsayers pointed out, well, it's just much higher than a petrol car. Yes, that is partly true, but what about the running costs compared to a petrol diesel car? It's a lot cheaper and that longevity with an electric car really does yield its benefits. And then there was the fabled range anxiety and those long charging times. But as the tech has developed and range has gone up while charging times have come down, those worries are being whittled away each year. But there was another issue the doom mongers would point to. Well, they say sucking their teeth and wagging a warning finger, of course, the big problem with EV cars is that after a few years, you'll have to replace the battery and that will cost you more than the car itself. So now a substantial amount of EVs have been on the road for over a decade. How are their batteries faring? Have swathes of electric car owners had to mortgage their kidneys or make millions by selling NFTs to get their batteries replaced? Let's take a look at how battery life is actually holding up in the real world. A study by American vehicle analytics and tech company Geotab found that the average EV battery lost around 2.3% of its capacity per year. That means a car with a 300 kilometer range from new will have lost just 34 kilometers of range after five years. Meanwhile, Plug in America, the electric vehicle advocate group regularly surveyed Tesla owners and found that battery degradation seems to level out over time rather than progressively get worse like your phone battery. Their research showed that a typical Model S only lost around 5% of its original capacity over the first 50,000 miles, with the rate of degradation actually slowing down after this point. On this side of the pond, over the last couple of years, British consumer brand Witch have been asking EV owners how well their batteries are holding charge. In their most recent survey, more than 2,000 EV drivers were polled, and the good news is they found that cars up to two years old on average retained 98% of their original range. Witch's data shows that after that, there is on average 1% battery range lost per year until you reach cars that are around six or seven years old, when that does become a 2% drop. That means that the oldest model surveyed, cars bought in 2014, now have on average 91% of the battery range they had when new. The car surveyed by which had an average range of 160 miles. So based on the survey, that meant that over six years, that maximum range would drop to around 146 miles, which doesn't sound like that much of a big deal, right? In fact, the research shows that you really are unlikely to ever have to change out the battery system. A Tesla report in 2020 reckoned that their Model S and Model X batteries will lose less than 20% of their original capacity after being driven for a full 200,000 miles. And there are plenty of reports of Tesla smashing through the 300,000 mile mark still on their original batteries. Most experts now reckon that EV batteries will typically be good for between 10 and 20 20 years of use, meaning that in many cases, the battery will actually outlive the life expectancy of the car itself. And let's stop for a minute and compare this to petrol or diesel powered cars. The REC says that in the UK, the average age of cars on the road is eight years. So your average EV battery pack is predicted to outlive that comfortably. So take that, doom mongers. But okay, for the sake of argument, let's say that your EV battery is holding charge worse than Gen 1 iPhone. Pathetic! Well, even if you do end up having to swap out the old battery pack for a new one, there is good news. Firstly, manufacturers heard those doomsayers harping on about this issue way back when, and though they knew it was never gonna be the huge problem some skeptics were making it out to be, they knew they'd still need to instill confidence among the consumers in what was still a 
fledgling sector of the new car market. Their solution was to offer hefty battery pack warranties on all new EVs, some of which are more than double the length of the warranty on the cars themselves. Most of these cover your battery for seven, or more commonly, eight years of use, or at least 100,000 miles. That's what you get on a BMW i3, for instance, as well as the Audi e-tron, the Jaguar I-Pace, the Mercedes EQC, Nissan Leaf, the Renault Zoe, and plenty more. Not only is that great news if you ever do need a replacement, but it also shows just how confident the manufacturers are in their hardware. They're expecting the batteries to comfortably live through and pass the warranty dates, which should give you peace of mind when buying one. And the data gathered by the likes of which bears this out. In 2020, they reported that only 3% of electric car owners they surveyed have actually had to replace their battery pack. In their most recent survey, that figure has risen, but is still less than 7% of EV owners. But if you do need a full replacement, just contact your dealer or the manufacturer direct to organize getting it sorted, because typically installing a new battery is less than a day's work, so you shouldn't be off the road for long. But as ever, there are a couple of things to watch out for here. Plenty of warranties, including those for the i3, the iPace, the Leaf, and the Zoe, cover degradation of the battery, usually if capacity drops to below 70% of its range when it was new. But this isn't the case with all of them. The Tesla Model S and Model X battery warranties do not cover degradation. So while the studies show these batteries tend to hold up well, you shouldn't buy one expecting to get a free new battery if or when it starts to underperform. And one more thing here, not all warranties ensure you'll get a brand new battery if yours dips below the mandated performance level. Some manufacturers may simply replace certain parts of it or perhaps tweak the management software to get it back into the promised range. So always check what your warranty promises in the small print. So by now we know that most EV drivers will never have to replace their batteries and many of those who do will be covered by long battery warranties, which are of course an incredibly comforting thought. What if you're one of the few unlucky ones who do need a replacement and you're already out of warranty? What's it gonna cost you? Well, I've had a dig into this and the first thing to say is that it's actually not that easy to find out, which is at least partly because it's a pretty rare occurrence. So it's not something most garages will have experienced. American EV consumer group Recurrent have managed to find out some ballpark figures. And according to them, a replacement battery for a BMW i3 could cost you anything between $2,500 to $16,000. A Nissan Leaf between $5,500 to $9,500. A Tesla Model 3 around $15,000. And a Model S somewhere between $12,000 and $22,000 thousand US dollars. Well, what about the UK? Well, let's take a look at the good old Nissan Leaf as an example, because the original has now been out on the road since 2011. A Nissan dealer will charge something like 12,500 pounds for a 24 kilowatt hour battery pack, rising to 14,300 pounds for a 30 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's a hell of a lot of money, but there is a way of bringing this right down by using an EV specialist company who could do the replacement for as little as 5,000 500 pounds if they can source a secondhand battery pack from a car that's been in a crash but has an undamaged battery. So it's a pricey business, but remember, you're talking about replacing the major part of the car. Think of it like this, changing an EV's battery is fairly equivalent to replacing an engine in an ICE car, which is not something that most of us will ever have to do. And again, there's good news on the horizon here because battery prices are falling all the time. According to a report by global management consultants McKinsey, the cost of batteries dropped by an amazing 80% between 2010 and 2016, with the trend tipped to continue. So in the unlikely event you do have to shell out for a replacement, it should get cheaper and cheaper. But this is the big picture. The data shows that EV batteries are lasting longer than many electric skeptics predicted. And while some owners of aging EVs have had to replace their batteries, it's a very small number. And with the tech getting better and cheaper all the time, most experts reckon this really isn't something you should worry about when buying a new EV. After all, you don't buy a new petrol car worrying that you're gonna have to replace the engine in 10 years time, do you? But I wanna hear from you. How is your EV battery faring? Have you seen a big drop off in range or are you still motoring along with plenty of miles left on the dial? Or have you gone through the other side and had to have your battery replaced? Was it a painful process or easy as pie? Just let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and let's keep this conversation going. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. And if you made it this far, click that like button too. See you soon.